two big stories we need to tell you about this morning. Look at these incredible videos. Donald Trump hosting a rally in New Mexico and things definitely got heated. Plus a tornado in Kansas causing major damage and it's all caught on camera. Let's take a closer look at that. A massive tornado barreled through Ford County, Kansas yesterday. It crossed a highway towering over vehicles and the road below. The twister tore over the countryside like a massive drill. Look at that. Officials say several injuries were reported because of that tornado. We'll take a look at this video from a person who was driving as the tornado got dangerously close to police cars on that highway. More than 25 tornadoes were reported yesterday in five different states from Michigan to Texas. Take a look at that. Most of the damage has been reported in Kansas where at least half a dozen homes were damaged. The other big story, chaos outside a Donald Trump rally in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hundreds of protesters chanting anti-Trump slogans. You can see plumes of smoke, which police say is not tear gas. Police say some of the protesters threw bottles and rocks. The only arrests so far have been from inside the rally. Police say there is possible damage to the convention center building after someone shot a pellet gun through the windows. The presumptive Republican nominee was holding a campaign rally there ahead of New Mexico's primary in early June. Police on horseback monitored the scene and forced protesters off the sidewalks. And speaking of Donald Trump, he's a bit closer to officially becoming the Republican presidential nominee. Donald Trump won yesterday's primary in Washington state. Well, Trump and his camp are not holding back when it comes to the challengers, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Here's an introduction from yesterday's rally in Albuquerque. Now, if Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton are on a boat together, if they're on a boat together and if it sinks, who survives? America! Donald Trump likely to get the remaining delegates that he needs on June the 7th when other states, including California, New Jersey as well, will be holding their primaries. Hillary Clinton's fighting back while campaigning in California. Some people are just allergic to the facts. It's a very dangerous allergy. I'm going to keep trying to immunize them so that they... They're certainly entitled to their own opinions, but not to their own facts. Clinton says Barack Obama, quote, inherited this mess. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is requesting a re-canvas of the Kentucky primary vote. A re-canvas is not a recount. It's a review of the voting results. Hillary Clinton pulled off a very tight win in Kentucky earlier this month, beating Senator Sanders by less than 2,000 votes. A senior advisor for Senator Sanders says there's no reason to believe any votes were miscounted, but the campaign wants to make sure since the race was so tight. New details at the South Checkpoint in the Atlanta airport is back open this morning after being shut down for the last two and a half weeks. Two of the four lanes are now upgraded with new automated equipment. There are new larger bins that everything, even luggage, goes into. More stations for passengers to unload all of their belongings and more space at the end as well. The TSA hopes it will speed up screenings. All four lanes will be open tomorrow morning. A stretch of Arizona highway was shut down after reports of a wrong way driver shooting from a car last night. Police say a government vehicle was hit, but the trooper was not injured. One person was reportedly grazed by a bullet, but is expected to be OK. Police are looking for at least one suspect. Well, listen to this story. On January 17th, 1989, a man opened fire on a school ground in Stockton, California. He killed five people then himself. Dozens more children were hurt. One of them was a six year old Robert Young, who took a bullet to the foot and got sprayed with shrapnel. Well, decades later, Young is now a sergeant with the Stockton, California City School Police District Police Department. He says surviving that shooting helped shape his identity. You know, the person I am today, um, it helps you, you know, just appreciate life and, and realize, you know, that, that life is fragile. It can be taken from you at any moment. As part of Young's job, he now patrols the very same playground where that shooting took place. 606.
funny things happen behind the scenes during <laughs> newscasts and occasionally those antics make it to the air, albeit unplanned. Let's go to Meredith Wood. She's got this from the Way 31 Digital Content Center. Every time yeah. we see one of these news blooper things that pop up on YouTube, we all kind of... <gasps> Yeah, and we're all like, oh, that could be either us. that, or they go, remember the time that yeah, happened at 31? We I mean, do this that could sometimes. happen to us. <laughs> you know, it, bugs get into studios very easily because there's a oh. lot of holes up in the ceiling. People don't realize how our lights are all strung, so there's a lot of holes. So, anyways, we get a lot of bugs. We have our fair share here, and uh, this meteorologist in West Virginia, well, he has an encounter with a spider. About it. Guess what? Texas Tech is always the national champion. <laughs> Jeez, Louise! <laughs> Why did that Poor Brian Hughes. He sees that <laughs> spider, and it was just like not even something he recognized. Like it just it happened. It was one of those moments where it's out of body. You can't control it. You can't plan for that. Can't fake it. Um, so, anyways, Brian's a little put off by the spider. He says that he and the director have actually come in so many times to rid the studio of these little insect pests, but it looks like they're going to have to do that again. Uh, this is actually the, I used to work in this part of West Virginia, so it's a little funny to me too, because I'm like, you know, one of, they were my, one of our competitors. This was not the station I worked at, but um, it's just, it's just a lot of fun to see when things like this happen. And, you know, sometimes you're on air and you forget you're on air. Yeah. Like he did. Things yeah, Liz knows, you know this guy, right, Liz? Yeah, I do. who knows this guy? Liz is friends with he this has guy. arachnophobia, clearly. Yeah, it, <laughs> clearly. It yeah, I love this, this steel shot. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Meredith. <laughs>